<laughs> Obviously, this is a section where we ask Anton anything. The question, the section is called Ask Anton. Um, we, people have been getting in touch. We've got some questions in there that someone will bring in at some point. Why is there Strictly music on? I, I don't know. That, that was Hugo's fault. I think there's a judge on Strictly called Anton. Oh, is that why there's a bit of Strictly in there? Yeah. I asked you, knowing you wouldn't know, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, so we've got some questions. Does I guess when you've got, got any... Do you want to do the two on the screen? There's a couple on the screen, yeah. We'll ask... <laughs> one's awful, but I'm going to ask it. But oh. the first one, who's the best English striker over the last 40 years, in your view? That's Grant Lee. Cool. I mean, Wayne, it's got to be someone you've played against. Wayne Rooney. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Wayne Rooney, yeah. Why? Because he had everything. He could come short, could hurt you. If he turned on the ball, he didn't mind running behind, and he was, he he weren't slow, he weren't he weren't quicker than me, but he weren't slow. <laughs> <laughs> um, you give him an opportunity, he scores. You can't switch off around him, and he gives you a hard time. I like the ball at my feet, but he would never allow me to have time on the mm, ball. Strong. Is, he, is, is, is strong. he one of them who's a little bit disrespected now? When people talk about the greatest ever centre forwards or players that this country produced or ever played in the Premier League, some people don't put him in the equation. Yeah, it's, it's poor. It's poor. You got what he's done since 16 years old, 16 years of age. What he's done for this country as a footballer is is it's mind blowing. Mm. Mm. All right, I've got one here. It said, "Who would win in a fight between you and Rio?" <laughs> 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 well, when we was younger, there's seven years difference, isn't it? So when he was young, when we was younger, he all he, all he had to do was give me a dead arm, quick one, bang, I've done mm. dead arm, and I'm gone. Like, but I think as we got older, I think. He always had the power because he was older than me, seven years, but I would just keep going. So I think in the end, he just wouldn't, it, nothing would happen because he knew I'd keep going and going. You and just going grind him down. Yeah. To him say, just going, leave me alone. Going and, exactly. So <laughs> he just didn't bother in the end. <laughs> what, do you want to be does? Uh, well, I'll read it. Look, it's, it's from All Round Good Chap. He tweeted it in and it's for you, Anton. Who, there's two here, who is the better player, Ambrose or Bent? <laughs> <laughs> Ben, he was easy to play against. <laughs> that's that's that outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, ben, he had we, a better career. We always have this conversation, though. You mm. always moved on to other centre, but you never played on me. We always have this conversation, <laughs> but it's the truth. I know it. Ambrose, I didn't realise how good you was until I played with you. I didn't. I, I, it's cute. I, no, it's true. When we play, until I, I came to England and started playing with Ambrose for England. I didn't realize that. I've always played against you when yeah, I was younger, yeah. but and I didn't appreciate you until I was in the team with you, and I realized, right, this 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 guy's got levels. That's in the twenty ones. Yeah, this guy's got levels, and and that's how it was for me. To me, then, okay, Num- number two, <laughs> best to go with a pint with Ambrose or Bent. Cool. I mean, we've never been for a we pint. Ain't been, we ain't been for one. No, we have. Yeah, we have. I mean, I def no, no go on. <laughs> Rufus would be good, by the way. Um, best to go for a pint with. To be fair, you used to a joint and a hip, so I'd have to take both of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to go with both of you. Nice, I like that. All right, another one here. It's from Jim. Uh, he's based in Preston. What is your ideal Sunday? My ideal Sunday? Ooh. Well, if I weren't doing this today, it was Father's Day, it would have been brilliant for me. But I'm here working with you guys, which is fantastic. But a nice chilled one in the morning, relax. Maybe go for a walk with the kids. Um, watch my son play football. And then a, a nice roast. That's me and I'm on, on the sofa, chilling, watching Super Sunday. Okay, not. Okay, I'll give you that. We've got another one here. David, he's from um, Jamaica. He says, what's your go-to karaoke song? Oh, my go-to karaoke. And can we hear a little bit? It says. <laughs> no, he didn't. He did, he no, he didn't. My go-to karaoke song. Probably a bit of um, bit of Usher. Can we hear a little bit of that? No. Why not? No. Cause I'm, listen, why are you shy? Because I am. I'm, I'm shy, that's why. <laughs> Far I'm from shy. it. I'll, I'll, I'll tick that off the questions. Are you shy? Like, we'll, we'll end that one. Um, right, this is from Jamesy. He's tweeted it in. Did you ever keep a clean sheet against Benty? Yeah. When? I've kept clean sheets. You, you would have done, yeah. 100%. But I it would have been, been, been lots of goals as well. No, though. there was goals. 100% there was goals. But name name, name a goal that you scored <laughs> against a <laughs> team that I played where it was like, <laughs> you got above me or you took me on or, or I, I slipped or something and you went in. A slip, I'll give you a slip. 
Yeah, but why are you missing it? Why would you miss it? Because the, the, <laughs> the playoff semi final, I went up, the ball's in the air, I went up for the ball, and Jimmy Walker, the goalkeeper, me and him went up and we hit each other, and the ball dropped to you. And you tapped it in. And I remember you ran away going, have that, Anton, or something like that. I was fuming. <laughs> Absolutely fuming I was. But you've never got above me. Never done any of that. We do a couple more? Both? All right. Pauline from Romford. Best centre-back you've played with? Danny Gabidon. Hands down. Danny Gabidon's the best centre-back I've played with. You know, you you guys will know, you, you strike a, a partnership with somebody mm. and you just hit it off. I was that with Danny Gavin, mm. you know, and so we were we were fantastic friends off the off the field, still are. Yeah. But on the pitch, we just knew where each other was, and we didn't have to worry about each other, mm. you know. And 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 that was probably my best partner. What about communication <laughs> with with Dan? Obviously, we know you're a good communicator. Was he as well? Was he the quiet one? He was the quiet one. I don't think I played with players where they were more vocal than me. I don't. Mm. I like the sound of my own voice when I'm playing. Mm. Like I chat even now. Like off the pitch, I like to chat. It's mm. just the way that I am. I like to have a joke. I like to to chat seriously. I just like to chat. So I never, I don't think I ever played with someone who where they were more dominant vocally than me. Mm. I always, I was always the dominant. Vo- I was always vocally more dominant than the player that I played with. Well, okay, and we've got one here. This is probably the last one. Uh, it says, uh, "Did you ever score a goal that wasn't off your shin or deflected <laughs> <laughs> from Rio?" <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, what that's what it says. Did you ever score a goal that wasn't off your shin or deflected? Uh, I've, never, I've never scored off my shin ever in my the volume life. Was off your shin. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. And if uh, listen, guys, when you get home, get on your YouTube, type it in Anton Ferdinand goal against Fulham for West Ham. You will see it's not off the shin. It's not. Um, it's down the middle of the goal, though. No, you, you'll see. You look at it and go, I guarantee your your response will be, wow. Or wow. Yeah. Exactly. No, That's wow. No, no, no. Wow is you at Old Trafford. <laughs> <laughs> that is just like, oh, wow, is it that? Like, good goal. <laughs> no. You just said you're wow, dis- Daz. You're disrespecting <laughs> this no, goal, no, you know. No, what people say? People will say, wow, look at the goalkeeper. This is in your top two, bro. <laughs> This goes in your Is that the wow is coming from the yeah. goalkeeping? <laughs> goalkeeper. <laughs> Another one just coming here. It says here, Anton, it's from John Britton. He says, was Sunderland your favourite time in football? No. Uh, West Ham was my favourite time. Loved Sunderland. Um, we had a great, great group. And to be able to sit here and say I was part of probably the most successful Sunderland team, Premier League Sunderland team, um, it's an honour to be a part of that. I know you're part of that team as well, Benny. Um but it wasn't my most fav- favourite time because um, West Ham, being a West Ham fan and playing for, for West Ham, mm. you know, you can't beat being a fan and then playing for that football club. It, you just can't beat that feeling. Yep. Darren Bent's Bedroom. Fast-paced football fallout. Every Sunday night from 5 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.